last minute. What is it you're doing, Jake Mace? We're building a shade for our tropical trees for the summer, and I'm cutting the stakes right now. That way they go on the ground like this. Also, if people come to my house unannounced or try to steal fruit off my trees, I can spear them with this. Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. I'm here with Seamus O'Leary with Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees. And the sweat on my chest means that it's getting hot in Phoenix. It's supposed to be 106 degrees by this weekend, which means what? It means it's time to shade your young, newly planted plants. Which usually means shade them in their first year, you always say. Most trees are going to appreciate an afternoon summer shade here in Phoenix, mm -hmm. even the full sun plants. But especially the trees such as Longan or Lychee that they're never really going to do very well in full June, July, August sun. They'll always do a little bit better hmm. if they're getting an afternoon shade, which afternoon to me in June is after 10.30 a.m., okay. not after 2 p.m. So maybe use a shade cloth with them or plant them beneath a companion tree. Correct. If you don't have a larger tree, it's a real easy fix to put a shade structure over the tree that can stay up for three or four months' time and help nurse it along. And we're going to build the shade structure today in this video. Yes, sir. All right, let's get to it. What do we got? I got with my man, Seamus O'Leary, with Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees in Northwest Phoenix, and he told me, Jake, go to Arizona Bag Company in Phoenix and get a 30% shade cloth from them. That's what I did. I went down to Arizona Bag Company. I'll put their website and their phone number in the link below this video and in the comments below the video. And I went down there and bought a roll of 30% shade cloth that looks like this. See how you can see through it? Can you guys still see me? So it's not blocking out all the sun. All it's doing is it's basically deflecting about a third of the sun from hitting the leaves of this newly planted uh, longan tree or a long on tree, dragon eye fruit that I got from Seamus. So I got this guy right here from Seamus O'Leary Tropical Fruit Trees and I got this one from Seamus and this one is putting fruit off. You can see the fruit underneath there. And if you notice, when it got above 105, the leaves started getting kind of singed. So that's when I protected them. And look at the new growth. It looks fantastic. So the shade fabric's definitely working, but your goal is twofold. Your goal is number one, to shade your newly planted trees. Number two, your goal is to still give the trees a little bit of sun. So if you block the sun out completely, then the sun can't give the tree nutrients. So you have to only diffuse the light by 30%. So do yourself a favor and go to Arizona Bag Company and get some 30% shade cloth. And here's what I do. I make sure, probably the most important things are, number one, make sure your shade structure will withstand wind and the monsoons that are coming up in Phoenix. Number two, make sure that the shade fabric isn't is not touching the leaves of the tree. I've noticed that when the shade fabric touches the leaves all day long, it tends to uh, do bad things to those leaves. So I'm gonna take my last stake here of this job and I'm gonna plunge it into the newly watered grounds. I just watered those guys so it's soft. And I take my hammer here and give it a few taps. And then I take the shade fabric and I'm gonna lay it on top like this. And then I'm gonna staple gun it to the stakes like this. When I was a kid, I was like five years old, my dad would use staple guns, it would scare the heck out of me. I just hated the, the snap and the sound. It was just the scariest thing in the world to me, but now I use it all the time. So I put the staples on there and the sun rises over here and sets over there. So it's important that I'm giving these longan trees some morning sun. So I have this sheet kind of flipped up so the morning sun can hit the tree, but when the sun's at 12 noon and afternoon, these guys are protected. So I'd say about 11 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock until the afternoon, give them 30% shade cloth. Now come over here for a second. You guys have seen this tree before on my YouTube channel. This is the Acerola 
or Barbados cherry. And you can see those cherries all over the tree. And this guy's in year two. So this is the second summer that this guy's been in the ground. And I'm not shading him at all. And look at how much new growth. Not one leaf is burned. This guy can take the heat like a beast. And he's loving it. So this is what happens in year two. And this Acerola Barbados cherry tree I got also from Seamus O'Leary's place over there in Phoenix. And the last tree I want to show you is the Aravipa Arizona native avocado. What I was noticing is that after about 11 o'clock, this avocado tree was getting some droopy leaves. So what I'm doing is I'm just shading him right here in the front. Because what happens is that the morning sun was hitting this avocado tree and about noon, this mesquite tree shades the guy the rest of the day and gives him diffused light. Even though the mesquite tree was shading this guy after 12 noon, it was still a little too much because I just planted this guy about two, three months ago. And so I'm gonna try shading this guy in the front with this 30% shade cloth. And then there's nothing in the back. I'm gonna let the mesquite tree do the work. So there's really no all purpose, end all be all answer for shading your trees. You have to know your yard, know your property, know your land, and make a shade structure that's customized and best suited to fit your microclimate and to fit the trees that you've planted. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button for us. Check out Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees in Phoenix and go to Arizona Bag Company for the 30% shade fabric. And don't forget to go to jakemace.com and send me an email to get on my email list for upcoming gardening events, classes, tours, and more. Our email list is really fun. We only email you about once a week and we email you things that will make you a better gardener. And you can also check out jakemace.com for gardening food, filters, foliar feed, and more stuff like that. Thanks for watching again and don't forget about the two things you must do if you're interested in sustainability. Number one, go vegan. And number two, grow your food at home. I'll see you guys back here next time.